when I tell y'all this person made like three fake pages and they was going back and forth in between apps, do you know how upset you have to be and how pressed? That's like, I, I feel like that got to be like a mental illness. And then when we seen this same person on other people's <laughs> channels like Sweet Ma and Lily and some on Grams, we was like this is crazy this yes. bitch and i and she was talking about, oh i'm gonna create a channel and i'm gonna expose i say i say you know what the only person she's going to expose is herself because she's crazy and if me and you can see that shit just through looking through mm -hmm. the comments everybody who got a brain are going to be able to see just how crazy she is so over time she will expose herself and i'm just gonna sit back i'm gonna grab my popcorn and i'm just gonna eat and i'm just gonna enjoy the show What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Michelle. And I am Carla Michelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, what is up, y'all? We are here. We posted a vote uh, in our community section. We said, which do y'all want to see today? And y'all said y'all want to see uh, Taco. So, uh, babe, who are we reacting to today? And what is the video? All right, y'all. So today we're reacting to Taco. Hey, Siri, play Obsessed by Mariah Carey. <laughs> Why you so obsessed with me? I just want to know. <laughs> Hey, okay, well, <laughs> let's get into it. Y'all yeah, both get a reaction. Do us a favor, hit the like one because it helps us grow. Let's go. All right. I don't think I had nothing to shout out today. I don't think I got nothing on in particular that I should shout out. You know what I'm saying? This is thrifted. Seinfeld. Didn't um, you like them? I don't have on no <laughs> custom pieces from nobody. Uh, my, am I vibrating? I Carla am. loves, used to she love Seinfeld. Y'all can still go follow my friend though, Holistic Treasure underscore on Instagram. I'm a tagger because a lot of y'all was asking me, where do I get my crystals from? And Holistic Treasure actually has a lot of fucking beautiful pieces. Yeah, she got some amazing ass bracelets, necklaces. She even sent me some waist beads. And when I figure out how to put them bitches on, I'm gonna put them on. Fuck you to my, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I don't really got nothing to shout out today. Do I have an intro? What was my intro before I just disappeared off of here? Hmm. I don't know. What was my hey. intro? Oh, I didn't have an intro. I just be like. <laughs> like I explained in my last video, if you didn't watch my Q&A, this is what this story time is about. If you tap in with my podcast, like I always get up here and I mention it, I have a podcast. It is on an app called Station Head. You need to download Station Head. Search Taco Tarantino or just click the link that I'm always linking, and you can be tapped in with my podcast, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm not on YouTube for a long time, I will be on my podcast, so make sure y'all tap in. I always make the joke that the people on my podcast, they first responders. They be TMZ, and I always say, <laughs> y'all just a shade room. Like, y'all be getting the news later because I be gone from YouTube for so long. But that podcast, I'm always on there, and I'm always losing my mind. I'm always going up. If you watch my most recent video, my Q&A, the main question was, what is your real name type shit? And like I told y'all on my Q&A, if you didn't watch it, I'm going to tell you here as well. My real name is Mar Kayla, like Ma Kayla. Like I Mar said, I'm only gonna get bigger and better from here, you hating ass hoes. Whoever you were who thought you was like <laughs> doing some shit by commenting my real name, baby, it was gonna come out regardless. I got a lot of shit coming out that's gonna have my real name on it, but you can't relate, huh? The only thing that's probably with your name on it is a fucking time card when you clock in and out of that fucking nine to five that you Aww, hate. Aw, so damn. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> one thing about me, I'm only gonna become more successful and bigger and even more known on so many other platforms. My name was going to come out regardless because like I stated in my q and I'm not gonna be a big successful famous bitch and I'm still going by Taco. You know what I'm saying? Like my name was gonna come out one way or the other. Which so ends, then it's gonna kind of be like the day one's gonna be calling her Taco. It's kind of like with Kendrick Lamar. The yeah. day one's call him K-Dot. Oh shit, maybe even something for that. So maybe it'll be like that because I'm gonna always be calling her Taco yeah. unless she just be like, look, cause this is one person I knew She's a stud, and um, her name was Bumba Boom. And I still was calling her that. She was like, look, Nick, it's no longer this. It's now Boom Boom Boom. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know, all it takes is for me to know somebody's name, and I'm already making up a name. I didn't already she, got a name for her. You already gave Mark uh, Taco a nickname. What you give her? I don't know. I, I'm you gonna going say with, it? No, I'm going with something in my head, but I don't know if that's gonna be it. <laughs> That fucking Q&A. One of the Mar questions was, what is the weirdest thing somebody has done to you? Okay, this is the story time before the story time. So I got to tell y'all this story time. Okay, so um, it's one night, right? I'm on my I'm on my podcast. <laughs> I, I've been so calm lately, but now I'm getting hyped. Like, I feel it coming back. We oh, shit. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> In the middle of this podcast, I was already getting cursed out. I was getting texted by this young woman that I was talking to at this time. I was getting cursed out. You know what I'm saying? It was already so much going on. I'm not too sure what happened. Oh, she clicked into my podcast and she heard me like basically just on there telling people like, I didn't necessarily say I wasn't talking to nobody, but, <laughs> but that, you know what I'm saying? She was cursing my ass out, but you know what I'm saying? But she wasn't the issue. Fuck that. I always get cursed out by women. I don't really give a fuck. It turned me on, if anything. It's already so much happening because like while I'm on my podcast and I'm talking to people and mind y'all, it's, it's a live interaction. While I'm on there turned up, I noticed somebody joined a podcast with my picture. And it's a picture. At first, I keep looking at it, and I'm like, that little bitch look familiar. Bitch, it's you. You know what I'm saying? It's you from middle school. Uh -huh. So I keep looking at the picture harder and harder. And I'm like, is that my fucking picture from, like, Facebook days? Which is just strange and odd. And I know you watching this video because I know you a super fan like that. No matter what I do, no matter where I go, no matter how much you bitches claim y'all don't like me or how much y'all claim, oh, she do too much or she not even all that, you bitches still be keeping up. And I really, I honestly Man, think that's like Man, what? I know, look, y'all, me and Nick, we didn't have to block somebody and I'm not going to go too deep into it. But then the Please person... Please don't, you may bring them back. The person ended up doing a recent comment. It was a different name and I was looking at the picture and I'm like... Ain't this so-and-so we didn't blocked? But you claim you don't back. like us. Like, why are you still around? So I see what she's saying. Like, you claim you don't like somebody, but then you still around. But you know why? Why? Because like you always say, it's positive and negative with every damn thing. So no matter how much people try to say they don't like you, it's still something that they do like about you. And that's why they ass tapping. So this is going to be kind of random, but shout out to, we actually ran into a subscriber. We were just minding our business, shopping at Aldi. And then I guess she, uh. She, she noticed me and uh -huh. she was just like, Carla and Nick. I was actually back there trying to move the pineapple boxes, you know, to the side. Because Carla wanted the pineapple all the way to the bottom. But go ahead, though. And that's it. She just pretty much was like, what's up? She was like. She was from the same, you know, city I'm from. She was cool, calm, and collected. She minded her bed and let us mind eyes. You know, we went grocery shopping. We ran to some crazy people before who yeah. didn't recognize us. And we ain't even big yet. Yeah. But we, but I appreciate it. It was real that. dope running into yeah, her. Yeah, she was over there shopping for her little shit. We was over there shopping for our little shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you I can... If you don't like somebody, why are you keeping up with them? I noticed the picture and I'm like, this is some super fan shit because how did you even find my Facebook? You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, this is one of my pictures from like when I was like, literally y'all, I had to be like in ninth grade. They comment something, but I kind of just ignore that comment because I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I posted baby pictures on my Instagram because a couple of my followers like Miss Angeline and Scott Laley, hey y'all, they, they had my baby pictures as a podcast picture. And it was funny and it was cute and it made sense because me personally, I posted that picture on my Instagram type shit, you know what I'm saying? So that was the way that they got the picture. This person, I don't know how they fucking find my Facebook or what. They podcast picture was a picture of me from fucking middle school. So I'm looking at it and they commented something and I kind of ignored it and I was just like, whatever. I'm still on the podcast. I'm still interacting. And at the same time, I'm still getting cursed out by this young woman. And it's just a lot going through my head because I'm just like, one thing about me when I'm in my zone and when I'm working, I need you to leave me the fuck alone. Don't do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at this, at this point, I'm starting to get irritated because like Shorty just kept texting nonstop, like relentlessly. And I'm getting to the point where, like, I was about to end the podcast anyway because she was just doing so much. I was just going to call her. Literally, right, like, a little bit before I ended the podcast, the person with my picture commented. They was like, why are you being weird to me, Markayla? Or, like, why are you acting weird, Markayla? Or something like, she, I, I don't know who it was, but it was just like, they was just like, you you know, we, you know, we, we, we go way back or some shit like that, Markayla. I don't know. They commented my real name. So I'm sitting there on my podcast 
And I'm just like, whoever this is, I did you think that was going to make me, like, mad or upset? Did you think I was going to sit on my podcast and yell at my phone? I'm not one of them hoes that be yelling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that post and it be like, I can never let a bitch get me so mad that I go yeah. live and I scream at my phone. No, literally, that's me. <laughs> I don't even you know say When I saw that shit, I was like, you thought I was going to goddamn. <laughs> I know everybody <laughs> who's watching this this right now, they thinking about that one video. They thinking about uh, P. How she got on live and just was yelling like that, man. Man. Okay, day. You can't do no shit like that, man. You At dum, the end dum, of the day, dum, you, dum, end, dum, dum. you end up embarrassing <laughs> yourself. Oh, I started turning the Vecna like, bitch, you thought I was going to start foaming at the mouth like a pit bull? <laughs> Baby, my name is going to come out regardless because I got some big shit going on. And like I said, my name is going to be on it. Me, I'm saying you can't relate, huh? I was already about to end my podcast type shit. So I think from there, I think I just told everybody like this girl keeps texting me, y'all. So I'm just going to go. So I got off my podcast. That was that. This is not story time, y'all. This is story time before the story time, because this is basically a story time <laughs> on how people just be so obsessed and so crazy. And I don't understand why. So fast forward, I'm on Instagram just randomly like, it had to be like 2 a.m. I don't fucking know. Somebody randomly messaged me. It was like a fault. She been following me for a while, but I don't know who this girl is because I don't follow her back. But she messaged me and she was like, girl, they got your real name on YouTube. And I was like, it be like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes like when y'all bring certain shit to my attention, do y'all bring it to my attention because y'all think like I'm just going to fucking turn up and just go fucking back shit? I don't give a fuck. She was like, girl, they got your real name on YouTube. And I messaged back. I was like, it'd be like that sometimes. And somebody on the fucking, of course, is always a page with no content. Nothing going for them no fucking time out. Somebody on there, like, uploaded a video of the entire fucking interaction on my podcast. And, of course, your little scary ass, your little punk dick eating ass, you weirdo. Of course, of course, you cropped it out to the point where I couldn't see your name because you knew better, huh, bitch? Whoever this was that recorded the interaction, they cropped their name out. And they recorded the person commenting my name type shit. And they uploaded it to YouTube. And I'm just like, you thought it was on. You know what I'm saying? You thought, now what? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, now where do we go from here? Because <laughs> you still not getting paid, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, when y'all be doing shit like this, do, do, like, are you making money? <laughs> that'd be, that look, that'd be my main question. That'd be my main question to people. Like, after you did that, did you have to go clock in? wherever you work at type shit you probably did huh that's probably why you just be on the internet just watching people and just sitting depressed and miserable type shit and no job slander no work slander if you work i love that for you but i'm talking specifically to this person now what you still had to go clock into your nine to five that you hate so much huh and you gotta you gotta motherfucking you probably got somebody younger than you telling you what to do don't you oh damn tragic somebody messaged me and was like uh s s something about somebody named janiyah she was like, um, something about Janaya. Janaya says, stop talking. It was like a fake page. I can't remember if they messaged me on a podcast or if they messaged me on Instagram. But always, like, of course, it was a fake page with no content. Because you bitches are just so scary. Y'all cannot stand in y'all true, authentic selves. Yeah. And I hate that for you. If you're going to be funny on the internet, at least do it from your real page. Why are you being scary? What am I going to do to you over the internet? You that scared? You know what I'm saying? Like, you that obsessed and you that pressed and you that scared that you just like, I'm going to keep fucking with this bitch, but from fake pages. Somebody messaged me. And they was like, yeah, this Janaya or somebody named Janaya says stop speaking on her or something like that. And I was like, I don't know no fucking Janaya and I don't know no nickname George. So both of y'all leave me the fuck alone. Because the person who uploaded the, the, the video of my name on YouTube, the person who uploaded it, their name was George. So it's always this joke. If you join my podcast, I'm going to let you know. It's a joke where people just be like, it's probably George. Because the person who posted the video, they go by the name George. Bitch, you know that is not your real name. Be yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> Kiri's George, be yourself. You know that's not your name, bitch. So it was always a joke on my podcast and we'd be like, if something ever, just if somebody ever being weird or somebody just ever being like extra, everybody start commenting and be like, it's probably George, huh? And I'd be like, yeah, it probably is. Somebody messaged me from a fake page and was saying something about like Janaya or I don't know. So then it went to Instagram. This person made a whole Instagram account, like a fake page, obviously, and they bio was fuck Markayla. And I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> damn, you that mad, baby. Like, you had, you made your bio my name, so I'm like, fuck Markayla. It made me think about that video of Thugnificent, and he was like, damn, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? And I started thinking to myself, man, what did he do to make them niggas that mad? It just started getting like, 
to the point where like the person kept making page after page and I literally went on my podcast and I said this. I said, you must be the R word. Relax, fuck you talking about because I'm not one of the people. I don't give a fuck about y'all canceling me. Y'all keep canceling Lizzo and Beyonce because they said fast. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I know what I mean by it. And bitch, if you offended by it, click off the fucking video. If you're not going to reach out to me from your real page, stop damn harassing me and leave me the hell alone. Like, I literally had to, like, make a goddamn PSA on my podcast because I'm just, like, at this point now where it's just like, baby, you are obsessed and it's really getting... It's getting worrisome, but for you, I'm not worried. Me, personally, I don't be giving a fuck when people be trolling and doing all this shit. I block them. Y'all know one thing about me, I'm a block a bitch, and I say this every day. Oh, I, mean, I will block you. I don't play those games. What am I going to go back and forth on my phone for? I'm not one of the bitches, because I will be. Yeah, I think me and Carla, we done got a little bit better, but, boy, we'll block a motherfucker real mm -hmm. quick. People already know, this, know us for that yeah. already. Especially if you catch us like during a certain time of the month or maybe we just having a fucked up day and you come and open your funk ass lips on our thing about something. Uh, I could be having a good day. And if you come trying to disturb my energy, you will get blocked. Yeah. I don't be mind hitting that block button. Dang. You the fuck up in real life. And, baby, and then the crazy thing is, I don't think they know when they block. So they still probably be commenting and shit and they don't even be knowing. Honestly, before I even throw a punch, I'm gonna take this big ass four five off my hip and I will shoot your stupid ass. Leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it ever come down to it in person, you know what I'm saying? I will shoot one of y'all bitches and I won't give a fuck about the repercussions. Leave me the fuck alone. So it got to the point where like this person kept messaging me from fake fucking pages. And it was like just talking shit. They sent me like an address. It was like 2335 goddamn Camp Refugee Parkway, Woodstock, Georgia. I I click that shit. I put that shit on my Apple Maps and I put that shit on my damn Google Maps. Literally nowhere like that exists. It's so funny because whoever that was, you probably don't even live in Atlanta. Fuck you talking about. Fast forward a little bit more. I on my podcast again and I was talking to, to Miss Angeline. Hey, Miss Angeline, baby. Y'all know I love me some Miss Angeline. I'm gonna link her YouTube because y'all just gotta see. Y'all gotta see how beautiful she is. I love everything about Miss Angeline. She's just a beautiful fucking woman. So Miss Angeline DM me on Instagram. And Miss Angeline was like, girl, why did that page just follow me? See, now you just being weird. Because not only are you harassing me, but now you want to harass my followers. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So Miss Angeline sent me a fucking screenshot. And she was like, yeah, the person just followed me and they DMing me wild shit. I want y'all to understand before I get into the real story time that I want to tell y'all today. I want y'all to understand it's never that serious on the internet. No matter it's how not. much you don't like a person, no matter how much you, you claim you don't fuck with somebody. It's never that serious. When I tell y'all this person made like three fake pages and they was going back and forth in between apps, do you know how upset you have to be and how pressed? That's like, I, I feel like that got to be like a mental illness. Like somebody yeah. is al already ignoring you and they already telling you like, leave me that alone or like. Yeah, it, um, <clears throat> and a lot of y'all who's been following us, y'all already know when we were doing the Lily and Graham's reaction, um, we actually had picked up somebody like that, but I, she said they created three pages. The one that we dealt with, who was actually now she's on YouTube. She's showing her real face now. I don't know if she has, you know, admitted or showed that she create fake pages and troll. As a matter of fact, no, I ain't gonna go into too many details, but, um, you know, it's just interesting when you witness someone like that, especially when you can see their face and just see the way they think and the way they talk and the way they move, you just be like, wow. Like, it, it's some crazy ass motherfuckers out there yeah. with some of this shit. Sometimes I be, I feel like when people have that much energy, they really don't have anything going for themselves. And they be the main one saying, oh, I got this going on, I got that going on. If you got all that going on, how do you have all this motherfucking time? And I'm telling you, they created so many pages like we it all started when we blocked their main page which is the one they're making videos from right now and when we blocked that page they had copied and paste talking about the same shit they created another page copy and paste pretty much talking about the same shit it was like damn did they create a fake page so we blocked that page then they came from another page and then when we seen the same person on other people's channels like sweet mom and Lily and some on grounds. We was like, this bitch is crazy. This yes. bitch. And I and she was talking about, oh, I'm gonna create a channel and I'm gonna expose. I say, I say, you know what? The only person she's going to expose is herself because she's crazy. And if me and you can see that shit just through looking through mm -hmm. the comments, 
Everybody who got a fucking brain are going to be able to see just how crazy she is. So over time, she will expose herself and I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to grab my popcorn and I'm just going to eat and I'm just going to enjoy the show. Honey, you delusional, you delusional. <laughs> Boy, you wasting your, your time. time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that deep. It's not that serious. And they keep blocking you. But you keep yeah. making this shit just to harass them. That shit weird. You might want to go, like, get evaluated or something. Honey. Because I promise y'all the internet is not that serious. If you don't like somebody, why are you keeping up with them? With all that being said, today's story time is going to be about the time I first got harassed on the internet before I even had these fucking platforms. Before I was even on YouTube and before I was even on Instagram and TikTok with all these damn followers, I had a lot of followers on Twitter. The reason I had a lot of followers on Twitter is because... I used to always do shout out for shout out on Twitter. And I would always, I was on Twitter nonstop. Like I was obsessed, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like I would come home from school and literally go in my mama basement and get on a computer and sign into my Twitter. And I would just tweet all fucking day and night. I used to hashtag everything, team lesbian, team girl on girl, team I like girls, team bisexual. <laughs> Anything to get more women who like women to follow me, that's what I would do on Twitter. Probably like in ninth or 10th grade. Mind y'all, I was like, I was a child, literally. Like, I was like, how old are you when you were ninth and 10th grade? Five? No, I don't fucking know. But like, <laughs> like, no real shit. Like, I was 14, like a child. 15. And I had like grown women like messaging me and tweeting me back. Like, now that I'm a grown woman, obviously that was creepy. And that is disgusting. Now that I'm a grown woman and I'm sitting here thinking about it, how. I was in like ninth and 10th grade and I had grown hoes sending me like titties and shit. That's disgusting now that I think about it. But back then, I'm not gonna hold you, I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did not give a damn. I was just like, it is what it is type shit. So ninth, 10th grade, I'm Twitter famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, I even had like niggas like hitting me up. Like, hey, yo, like, let's do retweet for retweet. Let's do shout out for shout out. Like, send some of your hoes my way. And I used to like ignore niggas because I would tell niggas like, these bitches ain't worried about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no shit. like the hoes I like don't like niggas. I promise you that. And and like the whole, the, the bitches that I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being so goddamn, just goddamn. The women, <laughs> the, the women I was into, I promise y'all that they don't like boys. You know what I'm saying? And the bisexual women who, who did like men, they it wouldn't be no men of y'all caliber. You know what I'm saying? So like when niggas would tweet me, I literally would ignore it type shit. So. I think that's where I fucked up at first. <laughs> I would ignore people, but I would mainly ignore men because it's just like, y'all be so un unwanted in the space of women and y'all just don't take the fucking hint. And not all of y'all, but like 85% of men, y'all be acting so rapey and y'all feel like y'all like, always gotta be in some shit. Like, get the fuck back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my brother in Christ, you are scaring the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate men who behave like they just never seen women before. Why are you acting like a fucking Neanderthal? We literally been existing at the same time and rate that y'all have been existing. Why do y'all act as if like y'all have never been around women? Y'all never had, well, a lot of y'all never had pussy. But like, why are you showing it? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you okay, even though Kevin Gates get on my fucking nerves, it was one thing that he said. I was like, you know what, he's right. And this is when he was on that Carisha episode. He was like telling his fellow men in Christ. He was like, look, brothers, when y'all... What is that? When y'all watch so much porn all the time, um, it shows because then when you go out in public and you look at women, you have like this perverse look on your face. You look oh, yeah. doggish. And they said women, he said women can pick up on that and yeah. they can sense that. And that is so fucking true. Like the one thing I cannot stand is when I see a man, we actually got one that lives over here. And uh -huh. it's like every time he see you, he just look like Nikki. Like whenever my dog, whenever I'm eating something real, real delicious or something like that, or Carla, Nikki had this doggish hyena look, yeah. wild look in her face, like, yeah, you can give me some of that. <laughs> and then you just be like, you fucking dog. And men, they be looking like that. Yeah. That should be annoying to It's tell. like they be undressing you. Yes. I mean, they don't, I don't really get it, but when they do it to my wife, it annoys me. But they'll do it to me sometimes too. But that shit is annoying. Nigga, have some decorum around these women. Like, yes. so one day, I run this shit like no other. Come home from school, drop my backpack, go straight to my mama basement, get on Twitter. No fat slander, but they big ass nigga. <laughs> Cause like, bro, to this day, I still don't understand why he was going so fucking hard. And it was a boy, y'all. Like, bitch, calm down. This big ass nigga. Fuck you, talking about giving very much. Goddamn, Hercules, Hercules. My little bill, he's a little Hercules. <laughs> Tell me nothing again. 
Oh, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Like his Twitter picture and everything type shit. His face was round as hell, looking like a fucking chocolate almond. I'm like, bro, back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna talk shit just because like he was being a weirdo, and I really don't give a fuck. Fuck you, Timmy. Because like, pause the story time. I probably done heard this three times now, but people be acting like I'm just a fucking bully when in, when in reality, in actuality, I don't just come up here and just talk about fucking people. I'm talking about the people who fuck with me and I always say this, if you don't want to be talked about or if you don't want to be fucked with, leave people the fuck alone. I'm a yeah. on that. I stand on that shit. I'm behind that shit all the way. Leave me the fuck alone because this be y'all problem. Y'all see that I got a big ass mouth. <laughs> you see that I don't give a fuck and you see that I literally come up here every day not every day but you see that i come up here like months on end <laughs> i tell people these weird ass experiences oh she's such a bully or oh she always talking shit i'm talking shit about the people who came fucking with me if you don't want shit talked about you leave people the fuck alone and i feel like that girl for blocking anybody. her name this little nigga was fucking with me so i'm gonna eat his ass up <laughs> fuck you come on the little nigga picture <laughs> the little nigga picture was giving very much goddamn chocolate cranberry looking like a fucking ocean spray cranberry mm -hmm. like he like fucking hair around and shit giving very much goddamn what was that fucking egg from the Shrek movie? Wasn't it Humpty Dumpty? I don't know. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty. That was like egg shaped like, like a thumb. Ball. Like all you saw was like an oval shaped fucking head. Y'all used to watch Oswald growing up, the Blue Octopus. <laughs> Look, I just I just unlocked a core memory for a lot of y'all niggas. Y'all remember Oswald, the Blue Octopus? That's literally what he looked like, but in the form of a black man. Nah, like, that wasn't my cartoon. Mine was probably like Blues Clues. That was probably my days. Blues Clues days, maybe. <laughs> Maybe tell it to me. Tell me. Maybe tell it to me. <laughs> Bitch, don't fucking play with me. Come home from school, log in on Twitter, and I see a tweet. I see like a mention, an app. Hey, you talking about from this nigga? And he was like, follow back with a question mark. And like, you know, you remember how we used to do our hearts and shit before we had emojis? Oh, yeah. Like yeah, that. I remember that. Y'all oh. know how to talking about? Shout yeah. yeah. out to the editing. <laughs> Hold on, let's give a props for the editing. Yeah. Adding the pictures in. <laughs> and like, like I always say, not that I think I'm better than anybody, but like, baby, you don't match what the fuck I follow right now. When I tell y'all I was only following women on Twitter, I literally mean it. It wasn't <laughs> no niggas in my following list other than like probably my brother-in-law. Literally, that was it. I did not follow no niggas on Twitter. It was just always women. So when he tweeted me, I just like kind of just like, you know what I'm saying? Like red past it because nigga no. I always say this and I feel like everybody should like pay attention to shit like this. I feel like people, people look how they are. Yeah, does that make sense? Maybe I, I probably worded it wrong, but I feel like the people who get it, get it. The girls that get it, get it. Fuck you talking about, are you new here? Like, <laughs> for real, so like, people carry themselves. Okay, how can I say this? What what you are, you, you look the part, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, sometimes when people be like, you don't look gay. Sometimes, some of us do look gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to hold y'all. That probably is a very annoying and ignorant saying when people be like, oh, you don't look gay. Some people do look gay, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you just know. You just have that look to you. Like, yeah. I always say, you have to pay attention to people's eyes. And like I always say as well, sometimes you look at people and you can just tell they're not a human. Or sometimes you look at people and you can tell that, like, they have bad intentions. Or sometimes you can look, you can look at people and can just tell, like, they're a sweetheart or, like, they're very generous or like they have a soft soul. When I looked at his picture, I could just tell he was off a little bit. And not saying like like slow or goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Like not off like he was like mentally behind. Well, the way he was fucking acting, actually. What the what the fuck? No, but real shit, like when I looked at his picture, I could tell he was off in the sense of like it was something wrong. Like crazy, maybe, like a little goddamn delusional, you know what I'm saying? A little Lulu. But like, I'm pretty sure when y'all look at me. <laughs> Because sometimes I be looking at myself and I always tell people, you know I'm crazy. Look at my eyes. You know what I'm saying? And not even in the sense of like I'll harm somebody unless they <coughs> don't harm me. But like, you know what I'm saying? I think if I saw Taco on the street or when people see Taco on the street, I don't know. Well, I've never seen her on the street. But I think they would probably just think she was an artist or something. Like she's artsy. She yeah. probably paint or she probably do like some, you know, some crazy artsy shit. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know about the eyes and all that, what that look like. I just know she don't have no little small beady eyes. <laughs> yeah, you got the ones. I was thinking when she was naming, like, how you could see somebody where you could tell they may have a hidden agenda. You also can tell it'd be some people where they may not necessarily have a hidden agenda, but they may not also be a good soul. They're just very, like, if some shit pop off, they will be on the wrong side of the fence and they can fuck you up. Yeah. Like, in a situation where, like, let's say, for example, if 
they homeboys decide to rob you, they gonna be full of shit. Oh yeah. That type of thing. Like they wouldn't be like, nah, this ain't right. Like I feel like you can really look at people and tell, like, yeah, that motherfucker a little. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like I got like a real bitch. This was way before I was even into all this goddamn yogi spiritual bitch shit. I looked at his picture and I just knew from jump. I said, yeah, hell no. Nah. I always tell people I've been able to read people. Y'all remember that nigga from Subway? What was his name? Jared? Y'all remember mm -hmm. Jared from Subway? Yeah, and I he got arrested because he had all that child porn. Yeah. I knew it. I used to be like, what? if I can't ever get my daddy on one of my YouTube videos, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to have my daddy tell y'all. I used to be a little girl. Anytime Jared would come on the TV, I would get so uncomfortable. And I always used to say it to my daddy because my daddy loves Subway. And I used to always tell my daddy. I used to be like, you know that white man from the Subway commercials? I think he weird. I think he woo, woo, woo. And my daddy used to laugh so hard. And my daddy used to do this thing. Like whenever whenever we would go to Subway and if I was with him, he used to be like, you better not misbehave in here or I'm going to tell Jared to come get you. Damn. And I used to just be like, oh my God. He used to be like, <laughs> but I knew it, y'all. Like, before all that child porn shit came out, I would just, every time I seen him on a commercial, I would just look at that nigga and be like, something about that nigga. And then fast forward all these years and he getting arrested for child porn. I, I be on it. The fuck you talking about? I have very Damn. good discernment and very good fucking, I'm spiritually inclined like a motherfucker. Fuck you talking about? Oh, uh, uh. like I said, come home from school, get straight on Twitter. Little nigga in my mentions talking about follow back. Literally ignored him. No, nigga, I'm not following you back. Okay, so maybe fast forward, maybe like two days. I get back on Twitter again. The little nigga is in my mentions maybe like four more times. Follow back, follow back. And like at this time, one thing about me, I just never went by my real name just because like I always felt like I wanted an alias. You know what I'm saying? Just because like me being on the internet and me having a platform all the time, I just felt like all these people did not have to know my fucking name type shit. But like I keep reiterating, I'm only finna become more successful and more known so it, it was just gonna get to the point where like it was gonna come out regardless but back in the day when i was first getting on these fucking social websites and on these apps and shit i always went by alias it don't matter what it was you know what i'm saying so the link again my mentions follow back follow back follow back and again i'm just ignoring him like bitch what the fuck you know what i'm saying so so this time i took it upon myself to like literally click on his page and just go see like who the fuck is this and why are you so damn pressed click on the little nigga page I think his bio, I can't really remember, but his bio has something around the fact that, like, he was, I can't remember if he was bisexual or if he was gay, but I knew it said something about him liking men type shit, so I was just like, okay, you know what I'm saying, but, like, still no, nigga, because, like, no, you're not a girl, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, no, no shade, no slander, not saying, like, I'm not <coughs> telling, like, what their pronouns are, but literally, like, no, you know what I'm saying, so, like, I was just like, no, and I'm, I'm clicking through his tweets a little bit, scrolling on his page. And the first, like, thing I noticed was that, like, he tweeted what I tweeted, but just with different words. And that was, like, my first instance of, like, it's a little nigga weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was, like, the first thing that really stood out to me. He literally would tweet what I would tweet, but would just reword it. I clicked off his page. I really didn't pay no mind to it, so I was just like, whatever type shit. Okay. Fast forward a couple more days, right? Next thing I know, like, he tweeted me. Yeah, and, like, y'all, when I tell y'all this shit was hot happening, like, back to back, like, nonstop, like... He was coming for fucking blood. And I'm just like, all because I didn't follow back. Literally, all all this happened because I didn't fucking follow, follow back. So, fast forward a couple more days. He tweet me again. And I think he was like, bitch, you think you too good or something? Or you think you all that? Yes. <laughs> I literally, like, when people ask me shit like that, do you want me to be like, you want me to be humble? I don't like that word. I ain't told you. Take the fucking word out your damn vocabulary. You don't gotta be humble for shit, bitch. Especially if you black. Bitch, cut it out. Fuck you talking about. We made this fucking world and we make this motherfucker spin. Fuck that shit. He's like, you think you all that? You think you too good? I think he called me like a bitch or a hoe or something. And I'm just like, you doing all this because I didn't follow you back. One thing about me, I I been goddamn nonchalant. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, when I was younger, certain shit did rub me the wrong way and it did hurt my feelings. But the older I get and the more full of myself I become, shit be happening. I be seeing shit and I just be like, T. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I be laughing at shit for real. Like I'll read it and I just be like, okay. <laughs> now what? Like that really be me. Like I really just be like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> someone's mad what you doing so like he called me like a bitch or a hoe and he was like you think you too good you think you all that yeah baby i do fuck you talking about so when he did that i blocked that nigga you know what i'm saying like now you just being weird so i blocked that nigga right maybe within this same day maybe a couple hours later within this same day i get back on twitter why is it somebody following me with my twitter picture of course we all know who it is it's fucking chocolate almond 
I get a new follower, right? The follower is me. I'm sitting here like, did I make a backup page? <laughs> did I did I do this? Fuck you tell me. I'm like, are you new here? Fuck you tell me. Is that me? <laughs> I love that little boy. He was so cute. Rest in peace, little baby. Is that me? Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my god. Mom. <laughs> Back up. That's me? Yeah. No, that's not. Well. Yeah, that's Over there? Like, no, that's not true. That is me. <laughs> I swear to God, that's me. Mom. Aww. Is that me? That's how I was. Um, I click on the page and of course, zero followers, zero following. But the only part or the person that was following was me. And like obviously you could tell the page was just made, the page was new. And the bio was just like some degrading shit, like goddamn dyke ass bitch or dyke ass hoe or something like that and it's just so funny because like i don't give a fuck about slurs i am a slur i'm a walking slur i use slurs all the time i'm one of them people y'all i'm not even gonna hold y'all all them words that y'all be like don't use that don't say hey, you're not gonna beat my ass and you're not gonna take it out my vocabulary even if you do beat my ass <laughs> you can literally be beat my ass and i will still be using the slur while you while you beat my ass you know what i'm saying like it's not that serious y'all y'all just fucking sensitive i really don't give a fuck one thing about me i'm gonna use a slur fuck you <laughs> the bio was like dyke ass whore dyke ass bitch and then it was my picture and it was like a couple tweets i said this shit on my podcast one tweet is really what like set me off and it really just got me one thing about me i don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying y'all know them posts when it be like i'm not clearing up no rumors unless they say you know what i'm saying that's me i'm not clearing up no rumors because i don't give a fuck i'm not clearing up no rumors unless you say i suck dick i know i don't <laughs> like, I'm just like some bullshit, right i'm just like nigga whatever so i got to one tweet and that tweet was like, I love sucking dick. I can't even put my damn toothbrush to the back of my throat. Fuck you, son. Like, I'm already. <laughs> fuck you, son. I wouldn't even be a good dick sucker. <laughs> I wouldn't even be good at that. I got goals, nigga. I got a list because I got goals. Like, I wouldn't even. Yeah, man, unless we. Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris Brown, baby. I will. I want you to touch that little thing, little thing that's swinging in the back of my throat. Fuck <laughs> you. I'm clicking through the Twitter page. And like I said, it was only following me. But of course, I already knew it was that nigga. I remember I went to my block list on Twitter because, like I said, I blocked him. I went to my block list on Twitter. I unblocked him and I tweeted him. I don't remember what I tweeted, but I think I just said something like, nigga, you acting obsessed. Like, it's not that serious or it's just the internet or something. And I blocked him again and I reported I reported the page that he made of me and then I blocked that page. I'm, like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. He did this shit for maybe like four months. I put this on my ancestors. He did this shit for maybe like, I just remember being in like, whatever grade I was in, ninth or 10th. I want to say it was 10th because I remember I had my hair cut all off in 10th grade. When I tell y'all he did this for like almost my whole first semester of 10th grade. So one thing about me, y'all already know this. I'm a data bitch out of town. I don't give a fuck. So I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I love women, but sometimes it just gets to the point where I just, I just get fed up quick. And I just be like, I need my space. I love long distance relationships. Come out here. Fuck me, love me, and go the fuck back to where you live. The older I get, Damn. I really just love my peace and my solitude. But I love also <laughs> being with a woman and sharing, my, sharing myself with a woman. But it just gets to the point where I just get overwhelmed. And I be like, go away. And of course, me being in 10th grade, it was just kind of like, you're a child. You know what I'm saying? You can't fly out by yourself. You're only in 10th grade. You don't have no car. You don't have no money like that. You're in 10th grade type shit. So I remember talking to this one girl, right? We met, I think we started talking on Instagram. I remember talking to her in ninth grade, but I remember we officially started dating in 10th grade. Y'all remember Kick? Y'all remember Kick Messenger? That's how my, me and her were always like converse and like just talk. We always talked on Kick Messenger. I remember he made a fake kick of me too. Like he had my picture oh, and he created a kick. And I remember he was like messaging people on Kick type shit. And I remember so many people coming to me like, hey, I've been talking to you, is this you? And I'm just like, that is not fucking me. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, when I tell y'all the nigga was doing the most to just tear down my character. And I was just like, why are you going so hard? Like I said, I'm talking to this one girl. At this time, so she lived in New Orleans. Obviously I've been in Atlanta majority of my life. So it's a long distance relationship. Also, we both in high school. So it's just kind of like, when were y'all ever, you know what I'm saying? We always conversed on Instagram. We always conversed on kick. Of course we would be on the phone, woo, woo, woo. But I had a little girlfriend when I was in 10th grade and it was long distance. But he moved his obsession for me. He moved it from Twitter to Instagram. So now I'm on Instagram. I'm starting to go up on Instagram. All my Twitter followers are coming to my Instagram. And I just remember like, so many fake fucking pages following me and so many fake fucking pages commenting, talking shit, sending me crazy ass comments, just wild shit. I ended up putting a girl in my Instagram bio. I am such a lover girl. 
I put the girl at name in my Instagram bio type shit. And I thought it was so cute because she had my name in her Instagram bio. Shouldn't have did that. Because <laughs> shouldn't have did that because the little nigga went and followed her and started harassing her. I wish I could just have her here. I wish I could like Zoom call this bitch so she could tell y'all her half of the fucking story. Y'all, he went and started harassing her. He started taking her pictures and making fake pages of her and commenting wild shit, doing wild shit with her pictures. And I'm just literally sitting here like... Every time he popped up, y'all, and he would do it, like, on and off, on and off. Like, we would think he finally stopped just for him to pop about the fucking woodwork. Like, he the damn joker and <laughs> talking. Do you think a person like that worked? Or do you think he was young, too? That's a good question because the the um lunatic that we were telling y'all about with the whole Lily and Graham's thing, we were wondering, like, damn, does she have a job? To be able to do all that. I think they could work. He could work. He could have worked at that time. But maybe he had a job that allowed him to do shit like that. Like you ever had an easy ass job that was not stimulating? Maybe something like that. Yeah. Or it could have been one of them scamming ass niggas that found a way to live on the system. Like maybe food stamps and disability and shit like that. I just can't give nobody that much energy. I guess I don't give a damn enough. That be some people who... <coughs> It's like a big part of the reason why they are unhappy and not where they would want to be in life. They're miserable. And like they say, misery loves company is because they are that bitter and they hang on to shit and they hold grudges and they yeah. don't forgive and they don't move on. They don't let go. They probably have family members uh, that maybe have done some fucked up shit to them in their past, maybe when they were kids and they still hold on to that shit to this day. It's like I people, would think somebody like that, they don't even like themselves. They don't so definitely alone, don't like themselves. How they going respect him. somebody Let's else? Think about him. If if he's you know at that description where he's overweight, his you know head is shaped like a thumb, and well, she didn't say that. I said that. Okay, his head <laughs> in my head. He's his head shaped like a thumb. You know, he just got all this shit. That's just he don't like himself when he look in the mirror. So he's miserable. You and know what I'm saying? Wondering, what would cause a person like that to automatically just stop? Or what, he stop probably, what, fucking with people? Yeah, he probably still watch her. I yeah. hope he don't start back harassing her after this video. Either that or <laughs> he's found someone else that he wants to fuck with. Or, uh, or maybe, which is very slim, he's finally decided to work on himself. Child. And them be the people where, like, they'll uh, make videos long, alone, um... In the future, and they'd be like, you know, back in them days, I was very unhappy. I did some very, very, you know, fucked up things. And, you know, my head was shaped like a thumb. And I was, you know, just shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm better now. You know, it'll be like that. But when they're in it, it's like, that's just who they are. Man, he went off on the deep end. Yeah. The city and terrorized us some more. All because... I didn't follow you back on Twitter. Yes. Nigga. And only... it be that damn ego. You ever have some men? Have you ever had a man where it's like he asks you out or something like that and you say no and then he be like, well, fuck you, bitch. Or he just gets mad. Some no. women have experienced that. Comment below if you're a woman where you experience a man trying to holler at you and you just like peacefully decline and they just got freaking upset. Yeah. It be that ego. <clears throat> Remember XFM as well? XFM was like that. Y'all know that anonymous shit that people yeah. do in their stories now on Instagram? I remember that. XFM was like that, but it was a, it was its own website. I had an XFM, and I remember having an XFM in 11th grade as well because I was getting my hair braided and shit in 11th grade. And I remember, like, my picture on there was me with my hair braided. Y'all, when I tell y'all, like, the time, if you keeping up with the, the time span, is this not insane? A complete yes. stranger. You started harassing me when I was in 10th grade, and you didn't stop until like 11th grade. Me and a girl was dating, we was long distance. He started taking her pictures and just doing weird shit. He started harassing her. He was on her page commenting weird shit. He found her kick. He started fucking with her on kick. She had a Twitter as well. He on her Twitter tweeting her. He on Twitter tweeting her, stealing pictures. He on Instagram fucking commenting on my shit, fucking with me, fucking with her. And it got to the point where like, <coughs> he started coming on my ex at him, and I just knew it was him because the shit he would type and the shit he would do. And I'm just like, nigga, you, this is, you on your third app, <laughs> like George and Janiyah, bitch ass. You done moved to a whole <laughs> other app. You know what I'm saying? The shit started on Twitter. 
we went from Twitter to Instagram now to access actually fold kick <laughs> oh my god nigga like it's so crazy to me like let me pause the story time that's so crazy to me why do y'all be that pressed and that obsessed what does somebody do to y'all for you know what i'm saying like yeah. like that'd be me <laughs> when when something start happening to me and it just be weird i'd be like what did i do it right these niggas that mad and i started thinking to myself <laughs> man what did he do to make them niggas that mad when George or Janai or whoever this was that did all this shit, what did I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you somebody that I didn't want to have sex with? Are you somebody that I did have sex with and that was it? Are you somebody that you just fucking super obsessed and super crazy and you just want my attention? Or you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what be happening for y'all to just latch on to somebody so hard that you literally only know on the internet? And I think that is so scary. I remember like... No matter what app I was on, the little nigga would pop up and he would literally harass me and a bitch I was dating at the time. Oh, my Instagram name was underscore pyramids. Why did this nigga change his name to like underscore triangles? Leave me <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this, this little nigga going nuts, niggas. I don't remember. I don't remember when I changed my name to at tacos make me come. But it's been that for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's been my at name for a while. I just remember like, the last little bit of this nigga. I remember talking to the girl I was dating at the time. I remember being on the phone with her. And she was like, yeah, this little nigga making me uncomfortable. Like, he's, he's starting to piss me off. Mind y'all, I think her daddy was like an ex-con or like a felon or some shit. I don't know what I don't know what her daddy did, but I think like he like beat a nigga to death or something. Or he like fucked a nigga up real bad because like the nigga was fucking with his kid type shit or something. Or nonetheless, her daddy was a fucking Batman. Fuck you talking about. So I just remember one day being on the phone with her. And she was like, you know what? Like, I'm just really, I'm honestly just going to let my daddy handle it type shit. Why did, like, the bitch and her daddy, like, figure out that the little nigga lived in Murphy's, Murphy's Boro, Tennessee? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Murfreesboro. If you know the area, you know the area. Yeah. They figured out where this little nigga lived because of his IP address. Her daddy Damn. Damn. How you yeah, find Leave people alone. Yeah, because, like, I just, I just honestly want to tell y'all, it's going to get to a point where, like, y'all going to fuck around and fuck with somebody who really don't mm -hmm. play no games over the internet. And, like, y'all know people are crazy. Like, I hate, I... I hate to always sound like I'm repeating myself or like I hate to sound like I'm just being like like I'm over exaggerating but people are really this fucking crazy in real life y'all like not even the people who are just obsessive and like they keep harassing people you think it's somebody out here who won't pull up and pop your stupid ass over internet yeah beef? it happens every day y'all mm -hmm. see it on the news y'all see it on the shade room y'all see it on fucking twitter people will come kill you over the smallest shit or maybe not even kill you people will literally just come harm your ass or harm your loved ones over the smallest, most simplest shit. And this is why I'm so big on like keeping people out of my fucking business. I don't play them games. You're not gonna fuck with me and you're not gonna fuck with my family. So like, even in my Q&A, when that person was like, can you show a picture of your family? No, nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, not even trying to be like disrespectful to them, but just because like, you see how people already act over me. And I say this all the time. All I yeah. do is YouTube. And you see how people act over me. You see the people that harass me. You hear the story times I come on here and I tell y'all. And I am simply just a YouTuber. And you acting like this? Yeah, fuck no. The whole thing kind of just started coming to an end because, like, I remember she she told me herself. She was like, I messaged him and I told him. I was like, I know you live in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And if you keep harassing me or if you keep harassing my girlfriend, which was me at the time, she was like, my daddy gonna come handle you. Y'all, when I tell y'all, like, her daddy literally found a nigga where the nigga stayed because of his IP address. You doing all this big shit online and, like, this be another thing. Y'all be doing a lot of shit online. Y'all be saying a lot of shit online. Y'all be posting a lot of shit online. You literally telling on yourself. You think, you know what I'm saying? Like, online is the government, nigga. Like, <laughs> like you're able to be traced no matter where you at or no matter if you using a, a burner phone or a burner account. You're still able to be traced, baby. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nothing private once you put it online. That's over with. You put some shit online, it's on there forever type shit. I remember she just told, she told me that she told him, like, if you keep fucking with me or my girlfriend, like, my daddy gonna come handle you. And she even told the nigga, like, we know you stay in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Like, apparently, like, her daddy or her mom or something stayed in Tennessee as well. But like I said, she lived in New Orleans at the time. But, like, one of her parents or something stayed in Tennessee. So she was just like, I'm always out there. I have family out there. Like, it ain't nothing to make a trip to your ass. Like, I don't care. That was probably, like, the last little bit that I heard from that nigga. Like, that was it. Like, <laughs> oh, and basically I was talking about my Instagram name because, like, when when my Instagram name became at tacos make me come, he changed his name to something similar. But it was, like, goddamn. It was something stupid. It was, like, goddamn. 
nachos make me come or goddamn burritos. Man, it was something stupid. You know what I'm saying? It was something dumb. I know what it is, but I'm just not going to tell y'all because I don't want y'all going typing it in and fucking with the little nigga. Because it was so long ago, y'all, it is what it is. But, like, that was, like, the last little bit I heard of that nigga. Like, she handled it type shit. And, like, he literally stopped. Like, after that, he stopped. And I'm guessing, like, the little nigga just got scared. But, like, mm -mm. I feel like this was a quick story time. But when I get to editing it, I'm probably going to be like, damn, you talk too much. <laughs> All the shit that's just been happening, it just made me sit here and think, like, people really be obsessive and, like, crazy over the internet, over internet people that they never met in real life, and I really don't understand why. Moral of this story, main moral of this story, y'all, be careful what you post on the internet. Be careful who you talk to on the internet. Understand that these people on the internet are just on the internet just to be on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these people who live these certain lifestyles and they do certain shit on the internet, it's just for the, it's strictly for the internet. It's mainly for the internet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying everybody that you see is like living a fake persona or they have like a fake personality or a fake demeanor. But like, y'all got to understand, y'all don't know these people in real life. You know what I'm saying? I come up here and I make y'all laugh and I be telling all these jokes and shit. But like, I always tell people who reach out to me because like, it's so many people who reach out to me nonstop almost every day. Like, let's link up. Let's meet. And I always say this, and I'm like, I be joking, but, like, you don't know. And I be like, what if I'm a killer? Or what if I'm a rapist? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if I'm one of them people who drop fucking drugs and people drinks and I take advantage of them? Or, like, what if I'm, a like, a fucking scammer? Like, what if I just, like, meet you in person, knock your ass out, and take your money? Because it's, ma it's mainly, of course, it's mainly women who reach out to me. Even when I say shit like that to women, y'all respond and y'all be like, I can just tell by, like, your vibe. Your vibe doesn't give that off. <laughs> That's what I want you to think, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Look at me. You know, look at my eyes. You know I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> no, for real, no, for real. I'm not no, like, harmful bitch. But, like, when I tell y'all I'm insane, I mean it. And I, I mean this in the most, like, wholeheartedly wholesome way. I'm trying to spare you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When it comes to taco, um, she always gives this warning or, you know, just letting people know she's crazy, she's insane and all that. Now, I did say that if I was the type to walk past taco, I would think, oh, she's artsy or something like that. But, you know, from being able to observe her and watch her story times, like we always say, when someone tells you who they are, believe them. Mm -hmm. Now, I said... <clears throat> um, at one point I said that there are some people where it's like, they're not necessarily like they're have on their agenda. I'm going to do some crazy shit or on their agenda that there may be the best good soul out there. But with taco, what I kind of pick up is if the stars align, right. The some right, happen, the right, wrong situation, some fuck, <laughs> some crazy, crazy weird shit could happen with yeah. her. That that is what I do get from her, and it's like she keep telling people she crazy. Now, if y'all end up in a situation, it's <laughs> shit happen. She she warns y'all. Yeah. Now I will tell you that I do get that from her. Now, if I seen her on the street, I wouldn't be like that bitch crazy. But <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if some sh crazy shit happened. And yeah. she was there. <laughs> like, no, for real, like, not saying, like, I be out here just harming people, just harm them, or like, I be doing crazy shit, but, like, y'all literally don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, when so many of y'all reach out to me, and you like, ooh, let's link her. I'm going to come to your city. When I'm in your city, come see me. Or when you in my city, come see me. You don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing that shit. And, like, e even, even if, like, even if my vibe do give that off, that's just pictures on the internet. You just know me from YouTube and you just know me from Instagram. Anybody can take a picture and make it look good. We have Photoshop. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can pose in front of a fucking Rolls Royce and make it look good. That don't mean it's theirs. Anybody can post a bunch of inspirational quotes and a bunch of be yourself and don't let nobody harm you or don't let nobody do this. And they could literally be the exact opposite of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could be one of them people who post all this shit all day long. Don't do this. Don't do that. But behind this camera, y'all don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm always up here talking about how people be cannibals and people be crazy and people be raping people, stealing kids, doing all this crazy shit. Y'all don't know what the fuck I, fuck I be doing behind this camera. You know what I'm saying? And I just think it's so crazy that y'all still put yourselves in this position, in this situation to like reach out to me and I every day, <laughs> every day, it, it'll never end. Every day. It's just always somebody. Link 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 i'm in your city link i'm i'm look i'm gonna link one of y'all one day 
And I'm gonna come in that motherfucker with a ski mask, and that's gonna be the last thing you see. Stop doing that shit. Well, hun, <laughs> you see, you see, told you, honey. You see, I don't never see me say link taco. You want a link? I like watching her videos. You don't see me saying you want a link, <laughs> baby. I really don't know what people be on. Another moral of this story is <laughs> always use discernment and always trust your gut feeling and your always go with your instinct. Um, so by that, I just mean like pay attention to people and pay attention to how people make you feel and situations make you feel. And it's so funny because like, I'm going to tell y'all another little quick story time within this story time real quick. Somebody has just recently reached out to me on my podcast and she sent like this long ass, just crazy ass, disgusting ass paragraph. And she was just like, I did a spell on you and the girl that you was talking to at the time. She was like, I did a spell on both of y'all. And I knew I knew y'all was going to stop talking because I did a spell. And me and you, we, we each other's better halves, and you deserve you you belong to me or some shit like that. You supposed to be with me. I'm your I'm your soul mate. Spirit told me to do this type shit. She sent me this long ass paragraph on my podcast, right? And I just kept telling her, I was like, "What's your Instagram type shit?" Like, I was not playing with this bitch because I was gonna get her Instagram and curse her ass out and then block her because you're being fucking weird. And I'm not gonna go back and forth with you on a podcast app. So when she sent the message, right? One thing about me, I pay attention to my dreams. So. To make this 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 story short real quick, I had a dream and I knew who the fucking girl was. And like literally like a little bit after that, somebody else reached out to me from like another page. And they messaged me and it was just like, ah, uh, uh, never mind. I'm not, <laughs> never mind. But just know like just, just, the whole point of me saying that was just like, y'all. When you feel like something is off about a person, it's because it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I saw this tweet, and the tweet was like, don't don't miss out on certain opportunity, opportunities or certain blessings through people just because, like, of your insecurities. Everybody is not out to get you. That's true as well, yeah. but I still feel like I would rather to listen to, like, my anxiety or, like, my gut telling me type shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, like... Yes, everybody you meet is not out to get you, but I kind of feel like if you get around me and the first thing I feel is like queasy or I feel odd around you, you you finna get the fuck on. I'm finna get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Because like I've been around strangers and I've met people in person offline and I've met friends offline and I did not feel anything around them. You know what I'm saying? And they turned out to be the most amazing people and they are still in my life till this day. But then I met, I done met other people and like the first thing, like my head started hurting or they smell funny, or my stomach started feeling funny, or like the hairs on my fucking arm on the back of my neck standing up type shit. You know what I'm saying? My ear ringing. Y'all play them games. The the post was basically saying like a lot of y'all be missing out on y'all blessings within people because like y'all letting y'all insecurities get the best of you. Yeah, maybe, but I'm also alive, so I don't really, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Pay attention to how your body react around people. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if you if you like this person a lot. If you think they're so sexy, you think they're so fine, so perfect. Pay attention to your body. You know what I'm saying? Because your body will tell you before your goddamn, before you tell yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think the last moral of this story is y'all just, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to like people and it's okay to be infatuated with people. It's okay to have a crush. It's okay to be a fucking super fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I be coming up here and I be like, y'all super fans and y'all y'all be doing too much and y'all, I'm not even all that. I'm not saying that to sound ungrateful. Like, I don't love y'all for supporting me and loving me and, you know what I'm saying, watching me. Because, like, if you want me to be honest, y'all paying my bills. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that y'all watch me and y'all interact with me so much, you're paying my bills. So the last thing I would ever want to sound like or the last thing I would ever be is ungrateful. But I need y'all to understand, I'm a human just like y'all. I bleed just like you. I take a shit and I wipe my ass just like, well, a lot of y'all don't wipe y'all ass. So let me, <laughs> hold on. Fuck like you talking about. You know what I'm saying? But, like. Nonetheless, I'm still a fucking human with emotions and, and feelings and like I'm still a woman at the end of the day. So like for some of y'all to do the shit that y'all do and like y'all act the way that y'all act, I really don't understand what be going on. I really don't understand what what do I be doing wrong, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm not no bully hoe. So don't think I'm ever just getting up here just ripping in the hoes. I'm ripping into the hoes that play with me. And one thing about me, I said this on my podcast. I'm your karma. You know what I'm saying? I, I honestly feel like a lot of y'all run into me because y'all done did somebody dirty before me. And the only difference is you not going to fucking play with me how you play with them. You think I'm not going to get my big mouth ass up on this platform and tell these people about you? <laughs> <laughs> and like, also, what confused me about it is 
I always say this. I never say nobody's name. I never say your at name. I'm never putting a picture up of you. So why are you really mad? You know what I'm saying? I have over a billion story times that I could tell. And it's just some story times I would never tell just because of the principle or like the fucking, just because like some shit is just personal. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, if I ever do decide to tell that story time and with the story times I have told, I've never once mentioned you. A lot of people, half these people don't even know who the fuck I be talking about. You know what I'm saying? Even the people who get in the comments and they comment and be like, she talking about this person. She talking about this person right here. This ain't Instagram. Y'all be wrong as fuck too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just basically saying that to say, if any of my stories have ever offended you or if you think any of my stories was about you, baby, nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, you probably fucking wrong. But if you are right, you shouldn't have played with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to keep saying it. I'm not going to keep telling y'all hoes. I'm not the one to play with. I don't, I don't like weird shit. I don't like shicey shit. I don't like weird vibes. And you think you're just going to come around a bitch like me and be weird and I'm not going to come up here and tell other people, be aware of this or be aware of people like this, be aware of situations like this. I'm not just up here just being a bully bitch and ripping into people. I'm up here giving people insight. Fuck you talking about. And I'm letting yeah. people know, like, this happened to me, so just be careful because it could happen to you. And like I always say, I am a YouTuber. So if y'all doing shit like this to me, I can only imagine what the fuck y'all do to other people. And you think I'm not going to get up here and warn people or, like, give, give people some type of fucking caution to avoid weirdos like y'all? Fuck you talking about. So that was my last moral of the story. My last moral of the story is it's not that fucking serious. It's not that deep, you know what I'm saying? I know it's never going to stop, and I know the more successful I come and the bigger my platform grows, it's not going to stop. It's probably only going to get worse. But I'm just letting you know now from, like, you just, you wasting your time, baby. Because, like, the most you probably going to get, I'm going to curse you out a few times. I'm going to eat your ass up a few times. But it's going to get to the point where I'm just going to be like, shut up. Because <laughs> that's how I started getting with George and Janaya. I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done said what I need to say, baby. You need to find somebody else to harass. You need to find something else to do. Because I'm not going to keep going back and forth with y'all. I'm going to curse you out a few times. And I'm going to block you. And I'm going to get on here and I'm going to tell a story time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So, I enjoyed the story time, babe. What's your final thoughts? Um, I enjoyed it too. It's like, I agree with what Taco was saying. A lot of times we get on here, we warn people because sometimes people don't know how to handle certain situations. And sometimes it's good just to hear somebody say, you know, like just to give a heads up if you get in a certain situation. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really do too much talking. My teeth feel like they're on fire because we went to the dentist today, so... And plus, you know, Carla's sexual energy been on 10, so I'm capitalizing on that. So <laughs> I got things to do and, you know, people to do. So, well, not people, but, you know, a person to do. <laughs> so I guess that's it. If y'all enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.